Welcome cloud lovers. I hope you all are fine. Today we will be going to set up CloudWatch billing alarm. We will be going to do it in simple two steps. First we will update AWS billing console and then we will create a billing alarm in CloudWatch service. So let's start. We will go to aws.amazon.com, click on sign into the console. If you do not have account, please go to aws.amazon.com forward slash free to create your free account. So first of all, we are give, going in billing. So select search billing here and open billing. Go to billing preferences, scroll down, click on billing preferences. Here we are in the billing preferences. Under alert preferences, click on edit. Here you have to click on receive CloudWatch billing alerts. You have to select this option to receive the notification and click on update. And once you enable it, this preference cannot be disabled. So that is it. Uh, then you have to go to CloudWatch. Mention CloudWatch here. Open CloudWatch. Meanwhile, let me tell you, I am taking the reference from AWS documentation, which is free of cost provided by Amazon. Here you can go to this and understand how to create filling alarm and monitor your alarm. So we are here in the CloudWatch dashboard. Click on alarms, go to billing, click on it and click on create alarm. Here you have to check estimated charges. Okay currency US dollars and period you can choose any period more than one minute that is great now you have to share the conditions here for example as soon as my project cost runs more than 200 US dollars greater than 200 US dollars then definitely this alarm should be triggered or greater than or equal to 200 US dollars. I can choose anything lower or equal to or lower. So I will go with greater than. Click on next. So here we can see notification state. There are three notification stages. Uh, let me show you. First is OK. That means the matrix is below the threshold. In alarm means when the matrix cross the threshold, the matrix whatever metrics which we have provided for example cost we have provided 200 us dollars as soon as threshold will be reached then it will go in in alarm state third state is insufficient data not enough data available for the metric to determine the alarm state or a newly created alarm used to showcase this state let's switch to the dashboard again so we are here in the notification pane if you already have an existing SNS simple notification service created, you can select it from here and you will get the email notification. If you want to create a new topic, you can click on create new topic and you can mention the email addresses on which you need the notifications. So right now I'm not doing anything. I'm removing it. Second option is auto scaling action in any cost specific project. Definitely auto scaling is needed as soon as we will reach the threshold auto scaling comes into the place and it will remove the resources to manage the overall expenditure of the project. So if you have already created any auto scaling group, you can add it from here. And that is how it works. You have to select the auto scaling group which you have created. And then we will click on next here. You have to give the alarm name. Demo alarm. Click on next. This is the preview and create page. Check everything. If everything is fine, click on create alarm. Now your alarm is created. You can see demo alarm created today. If you want, you can also add this alarm to your dashboard. You only have to click on it. Go to actions, add to the dashboard. We have shown you how to create the dashboard in our previous video. 
wherein we have created my demo dashboard so i'm adding the same in the my demo dashboard i need the number widget and that is it click on add to dashboard so this alarm is added to my cloudwatch dashboard and that is it thank you so much for watching this video in our next video we will create the load balancers and we will understand how it works thank you so much bye bye take care